Hi guys, I am doing um, a video on my daughter's American Girl collection. Excuse the mess, I am honestly in the process of going through both my son and daughter's American Girl collections. Um, and I've been pulling out items. I'm going to have a purge on one of the American Girl's pages probably in the next by the time you guys see this, it's probably about the time I'm going to be doing the purge. I don't know which side I'm going to do it on. There's um, a few different ones that I belong to on Facebook. So I don't know which one I'm going to do the purge on yet. Uh, I bought a few things in a purge today. But um, the person would just group things together. And a few of the things I didn't need that were grouped together. And there was a few that I needed something from that grouping. So I'll take out what I needed from the grouping and then sell the rest. Is kind of what my plan is. And like I said, like going through the stuff, I found things that, of my kids, that I'm going to be selling. Because I got more coming. Um, no. Yes and no. Um, most of the American Girl stuff that I actually have coming is actually mine, um, not so much their stuff. Although American Girl currently, I'm, I'm filming this at the beginning of July, you guys won't be seeing this till mid-end of August. But they're currently having a um, quadruple point. So basically, um, I'm a Barry member, so anything I order I get six times the points. Um... So I put in an order today. I'm getting myself, I have always wanted um, Addie's bed. I have wanted Addie's bed since I was young. So I pulled the trigger and bought Addie's bed today. Um, it's on clearance. And it's actually cheaper than on some of their outfits. So I, I don't have a place to put it. I won't be setting it up here in this house. But um, that shelf over there. You can kind of see some of the bins sticking out in the corner. Those, that is one of those Ikea 5x5 five five cube shelves. And um, when I get a, when we get a house, um, my husband and I have talked if it has a den in it or a fourth bedroom, that will be my room so that I can set up my nursery in. And I'm kind of thinking that the dresser that I was using for my dolls will probably go into our bedroom as my dresser because it, it used to be my dresser then um, when the kids were born it became their dresser we had some Ikea dressers that fell apart before we moved to Minot so we just tossed them so when we were in Minot it was my dresser again and then um, when we moved down here it became my dolls dresser because I didn't really need a dresser at that point so, the thought process is possibly that will become my dresser again. So, I'm really thinking to get like one of these 5x5 five five shelves because the top is really nice. Um, I was thinking to display because I also have Kirsten's bed. So, I was thinking I could put Kirsten and Addie's bed up there. I could put F Felicity's um, stable with the horses up there. And display my American Girl collection that way and then like I would have like the cube area like this I could put the doll clothes in those um, and then my doll accessories in those and then um, the upper ones I would just probably do like this like this that's the bottom two rows you're seeing right there I would put like two rows of that and then I've got three rows so I've got 15 cubes that honestly I'm thinking of putting my neonates and real cares in those and then my um, crib would just solely be for like the reborns it's kind of the idea I don't know how I'm going to go about it but that's my where I'm kind of thought process on that right now so anyways back to the dolls um, so this is my daughter's collection um, she has been collecting since she was two years old is when she got her first American Girl. Um, and that would be Lainey, who is right up there. And it's kind of snowballed since. I mean, she will be nine this year, so... Well, she got the first one at two. So she's averaging two to three a year. And that includes the Welly Wishers down on the bottom. 
And so far this year, she's only gotten one new one, but that one she bought herself. Um, she usually asks Nana for one for her birthday slash Christmas. She's going to ask Nana for the new 80s doll, Courtney, when she comes out. And then she said she's going to ask uh, Santa for Mary Ellen. And if she gets those two, that'll bring her up to a round number of 20. And um, we will have every named doll that is currently for sale. We don't have every named doll, but we would have every named doll currently for sale. So she, out of all of us, has the biggest collection. My son has quite a few. I will be doing a video on his, too. It was just today we were cleaning my daughter's room, so I was sorting through all the American Girl stuff while we were doing that, and that's where I decided to come up with, I'm like, you know what, let's get them all dressed back in their original meat outfits and, um, and go from there. And then I'll make a video, and then you can have your dolls back when your room's clean. That's how it works. So anyways, we will start off the top corner right up here. The little blonde girl with the blue and green striped. She's wearing a blue and green striped dress. Kind of looks like just the top, the way she's standing. She is Girl of the Year from 2010, and that is Lainey. That would be the first doll my daughter got. Also, my son's birth year. So the only doll that we have that is a double. You're probably going to say, but wait a minute, Kanani, who's standing right next to her, we have a double. Actually, I have decided to sell my Kanani. Um, I was looking at my own collection. I'm like, you know what? There's a few other dolls I want to get for myself. I love Kanani. I love that she brings um, another culture to my own personal collection. But um, I really, 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 really want to get one of the African boys, or was it? There's two boys. I can't tell if the one's supposed to be like a Hispanic boy and the other one's supposed to be a black boy. I'm well, the one is supposed to be a black boy. But the other one, I can't tell if he's supposed to just be like a mixed race or Hispanic, but I fell in love with both of them. So I am selling my Kanani. Um, Kim, my friend Kim that lives in the UK is actually buying an Addy from um, my friend Heather and once Addie is paid off she's going to be buying my Kanani and I'm like you know what if you want her because she loves her hair I love her hair too but I'm like I, I'm not in a hurry to sell her she, she's fine where she's at so um, when Kim buys Kanani I can turn around and buy um, my boy then again who knows by the time I get it I may actually decide you know what, I don't want the boy. I want to order my um, Create Your Own Doll, which I have sitting. You can create your Create Your Own Doll and save it, and I've got a few of them saved. So um, I might actually end up ordering one of them. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So anyways, on to the next girl who is in this beautiful blue floral dress. That is Kanani. She's Girl of the Year 2011, so that would be the year my daughter was born. Um, prices have come down a lot since we got her. I'm not going to go into how much I ended up having to pay for that gore, that girl. Although when I bought her, I got her and her complete meat. Now mind you guys, all of these dolls have their complete meat. Um, they all have, um, oh, except for Ivy. Ivy I need, Ivy's right there. Um, I need her earrings. But other than that, they all have their complete meat. So like Lainey actually does have her headband. Kanani, we have her um, necklace and her flower for her hair. I don't let my daughter play with those parts of the accessories because they get lost so easily. Um, she's actually I already lost one in Nanea's shoes. So I had to order a spare set of Nanea's shoes. As I'm still searching, I've got the one shoe set on my desk because... I'm still searching that room for that second shoe. It'll turn up eventually. But so like McKenna, she's got the hair um, tie for her. Um, Gabriella, we got the headband. Blair has got a flower and a bracelet. Joss, she has her hearing aids. I don't think I've pulled any of Joss's stuff because it was just the hearing aids and the 
underwear. And while my daughter likes the fact that she has the hearing aids, my daughter doesn't put them in there because they come out so easily and my daughter gets frustrated. So she's like, mom, I'm just going to put them in here. Good idea, kid. So like all of them, their hair accessories or if they have other accessories um, that go with their meats, like they don't have their socks if they have socks. Um, so moving on, we have got McKenna, who is this caramel hair, blue-eyed girl in the middle with the gray and teal um, striped tunic type shirt. She is Girl of the Year 2012. Um, this is my daughter's McKenna. I did purchase that other McKenna. She's actually in the box sitting underneath here. Um, that will be going to my niece for her birthday this month. Next to McKenna is Gabriella. Gabriella was Girl of the Year 2017. Yeah, there's a jump because I have a few of the girls and my son has a few of the girls from between 2012 and 2017. Um, then next, or Gabriella, I, my opinion on Gabriella, love the doll, beautiful doll. Sonali is my absolute favorite, favorite mold. Um, she's a Sonali mold if you don't know. Um, love her hair. She's a beautiful doll she got gypped and in my opinion i think what happened because tenny came out in 2017 as well tenny's right here um there was a lot of backlash on american girl because kanani it went kanani um mckenna then um kanani mckenna isabel who's a white blonde haired doll Was it Isabel? Yeah, 13 was Isabel. Then Sage, who was a white redhead. So that would be 14. 15 was um, Grace. 16. And so you've got essentially a bunch of white girls in a row. And then you had... Um, Leah, who Leah was, could have been a mixed race or, honestly, I haven't read Leah's books yet. I believe she was mixed. But everybody was like, we've got these light-skinned dolls. We've got these light-skinned dolls. Why haven't we had an African-American girl? A lot of speculation is, actually, Gabriella was not supposed to be a girl of the year. Tenny was. But they, and Gabriella was supposed to be the contemporary. Because if you look at Z Yang's um, collection, which Z came out at the same time as Gabriella and Tenny and Logan. Tenny, or Logan is Tenny's best friend. Tenny has a significantly large collection, not including Logan and his items. Z has kind of a moderate collection and Gabriella has a moderate collection. So everybody's like, why is Tenny's collection overshadowing the girl of the year this year? Like she had large pieces. She had that beautiful stage. Um, she had all sorts of different outfits where Gabriella's big piece was a recycled bed that was um, McKenna's bed that they just changed the colors. And she's a dancer, so, and um, Isabel was a dancer as well, so they just changed the colors on some of Isabel's items and threw them at Gabriella. Like, a lot of people felt she was a very, very, very thrown together collection that a lot of people feel that she was actually meant to be the contemporary doll and Tenny was supposed to be, but because of the backlash of people, like, we need... A darker skinned black girl as a girl of the year so they did poor Gabriella which like I said I love Gabriella love her to death I'm disappointed in American girl and what they did to Gabby and there's a lot of people in the community you talk to they agree that poor Gabby got the shaft well Tenny who's the white girl got like this wonderful collection um, hope is that next year there will be a black girl of the year a lot of people are hoping with um, American Girl's newest stance on diversity and adding more diversity and such. We're hoping that means that they're going to come out with a Black Girl of the Year. And I hope to God too because 
I'm white. You know I'm white. I'm sick of seeing all the white dolls. I mean, look at my daughter's collection is very diverse. I mean, she's got Kanani, who's um, Hawaiian. Nene is Hawaiian. You've got um, a Native American. She's got one, two, three black dolls. Um, she's got Ivy, who is Chinese. This doll over here uh, was a just like you that had a haircut, but it's a light skin, but black hair, brown eyes. Um, Rebecca also um, is Jewish. So my daughter does have a lot of diversity in her own collection. Um, I just look at my collection and I know I've got like the beginning, like the, the, the core base of my collection is those core dolls that started out the whole American Girl line and all of them but one is a person of color and that's Addie and she's black and she is my, aside from my girl Keisha, Addie is, I, I love Addie. Addie is one of my favorites. Um, in fact, if Addie would have been out when I got Molly, I wouldn't have got Molly. I would have bought Addie. Um, Addie didn't come out for a few years after I got Molly and I begged my parents to get me Addie and they never did. So my husband did years later. And last in this row, all right, here is Joss. Okay, anyways, um, I skipped over Blair, though. So anyways, back to, um, where is she? There she is. Um, back to Gabriella. Gabriella, in her books, she does have a speech impediment. Um, so I believe she has a stutter. Um, so that's where they are, have added a little bit of diversity of um, inclusion of people um, with different abilities. Um, next to Gabriella is Blair. She was Girl of the Year 2009. Um, Blair is a beautiful doll. Um, she is the first doll, I believe, that used this like super light skin tone. Um, they have five skin tones now on the dolls. But Blair is the very fair skin tone doll, um, and she's got this beautiful red hair, and she's got green eyes. And next to her is Joss, and Joss is the 2020 Girl of the Year. Joss has um, is hard of hearing. Uh, she, I haven't once again, I haven't read her stories, but she does have a hearing aid in one of her ears. When you buy Joss, she comes with two hearing aids. That's in case you lose one. But uh, I can't remember which ear it is. The hearing aid fits into, but it doesn't fit into both ears. I know people try to cram them into both ears, but she only has one hearing aid, so she is hard of hearing. She is not fully deaf. But once again, I mean, they're getting inclusion in and including dolls of different abilities. Um, so anyway, we are going to move on down to the second row. First girl in the second row is Kaya. Um, I'm going to call, she's got a, in the American Girl line, they call her Kaya. Um, K-A-Y-A, Kaya. She has a really long name, and I'm not even going to attempt to butcher this Native American name. Um, she's a beautiful doll. She's from the 1760s. Um, I absolutely love her. She's the only mold the Kaya mold right here with the closed mouth. The boy dolls have the closed mouth on them. They use the Kaya mold for them. But um, out of all the girl dolls, she is the only doll that uses that mold. Because um, when American Girl decided to come out with a Native American girl doll, or a Native American doll, they actually went to a few different tribes. And the tr there was one tribe willing to help them in their area. And they created a council of five people between planner and developers for American Girl. Um, it included high officials in the Native American tribe. I cannot remember the name of the tribe off the top of my head that they use. But like her outfits are based off this tribe, um, historically accurate to this tribe. Her stories are historically accurate to this tribe. Like the tribe historian helped the writer of Kaya's books write the books with historical accuracy so she is very accurate historically for the tribe that she is in um but in their culture showing teeth is offensive so they created a mold just for her with the closed mouth and like i said 
Um, the American Girl boy dolls do have that face mold now, but out of all the dolls, she, out of all the girls, she's the only one that uses that face. Um, next, we've got Rebecca. Rebecca's from the 1910s. Rebecca is um, a Jewish girl living life in the 1910s. Um, and like I, we have Rebecca's books, but I have not read them. In all honesty, guys, I've only read the original ones back from when I was a kid. I need to get going on reading the newer ones. Um, Rebecca came out after I got out of American Girl, but right before my kids did. And Rebecca's a beautiful doll. She's got that nice brown hair. And she has green eyes. She has beautiful green eyes. And she is beautiful. I love her too. Um, but once again, bringing in like struggles. Um, of, I believe she lives in New York. Of a family in New York in the 1910s that is Jewish. And then we go into Kit. Who is the 19th. They have her down as the 1930s. Um, her family was very. A Kit's the one in the middle um, with the green dress on oh. Kaya has on this beautiful deer skin dress and then Rebecca has on like a maroon dress and then next to Rebecca is Kit and she has on the Be Forever, she's the Be Forever Kit. So she has the um, green and a red dress which I personally love that dress better than the other one. I know the other one is more historically accurate but I just love this dress. I think it's a beautiful dress. So anyways, um, Kit's story is her family was deeply affected by the Great Depression. So they take in travelers um, and boarders in their home. So it's just kind of the childs and tribulations of Kit um, living after the, the Great Depression repercussions. What we might actually be doing in the next few years. Um, next to her is Nanea. Nanea is in this beautiful um, Hawaiian floral print top. And she is from the 1940s. Um, she is an islander. She's from Hawaii. And her dad, I believe, works at Pearl Harbor during the bombing of Pearl Harbor, which brought the U.S. into World War II. And then next to her, last in that row, is Melody. And she's from the 1960s. She's wearing this beautiful um, hotch tooth um, dress that is... Like a neon, I don't know why they picked, well, it's the 60s. Um, so it's kind of a neon yellow with an aqua and a teal blue. And then she's got the big bow on the front. Um, Melody's family, I know Melody's story and like my, it, her story is just escaping me. Melody's fueled by music. Melody loves music, clearly by her name, Melody. Um, it's during segregation, so obviously um, Addie's time is freeing the slaves. Melody's time is during segregation, um, where people of color had to use different restrooms. They had to sit at different places. I mean, the huge revolution that took place in the 1960s that gained people of color black people. And when I say people of color, because... Hispanic people were able to gain freedom from this. I mean, it, it was a huge revolution. It was mainly fueled by black people, but it, it opened the doors for everybody of color. Um, but that's her story is during that time. Like, um, I know we've watched the movies. Once again, I haven't read her books. Um, but in the one of the movies, a white girl, I believe, steals something or accuses her of stealing something, and she gets in trouble when she didn't even do it. So, I mean, just showing this, this in, in, in equal lives that are going on at that time. So, love her. Um, Santa brought her for my daughter for Christmas last year. And now we're going to move down to the last row. So, we've got this one right here. Um, he's in a dress. He has had a haircut. I believe he's just like you or truly me, number 15. That has had a bad haircut. Or I don't know if it's a wig change or a bad haircut. Um, it came to me this way. My mom got it at my favorite consignment shop for my son. And then my son traded my daughter a doll. Don't ask me why. Um, my daughter wanted this doll. And my son wanted my daughter's doll. So they traded. And I was like, whatever. 
So anyways, um, poor guys in the outfit he came in. So he came in this outfit, this um, purple and blue outfit, and it's a skirt with blue boots, a blue skirt with blue boots. My daughter uses it as a boy doll. She's actually named him Liam, but I just put him in his original outfit because we don't have any of the boy outfits. I would love to order. I need to call American Girl and see if I'm able to order um, the old meat outfit for the boys without having one. Um, I'm not thinking I'll be able to, but we do have some of the boy American Girl outfits, but I put that's an actual meat outfit on him. So anyways, moving along, we've got Ivy who was right next to him. Ivy is wearing like this purple, uh, what is it? That's that fabric. Oh, I cannot think of them. Ivy is Julie's best friend, and Julie's from the 1970s. So, um, she's got this purple and green motif outfit going on. Her pants are actually green, too. Polyester. That is what she has. She has a polyester shirt on. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, she is um, a Chinese doll. And Ivy's story kind of is like her struggle of trying to be a Chinese American. She wants to be that all American girl doing all American things while her family wants her to, to diverse and dive into the Chinese culture. Um, so she's got that struggle within herself to be an American girl but still be a Chinese girl that her family wants. Um, so uh, I believe she also, she, she's um, uh, Julie's best friend and we do have Julie. And then next to her is Tenny. Tenny's got this denim shirt on with um, a peach t-shirt underneath it. Tenny's story revolves around music as well. Um, she was an aspiring singer. Her best friend Logan plays drums for her. And guys, I will be right back because my it's going to cut. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so her best friend is Logan. Um, Logan was the first boy doll. The thing about Tenny and Logan, they both have different hands because Tenny has a guitar. Um, Tenny's guitar pick does fit in her hand the way that her hand is curved. And um, Logan's hands are the same hands and Logan holds drumsticks because Logan plays the drums. As I talked when I talked about Gabriella, Tenny has an extensive collection. She has some big, beautiful pieces in her collection. She has this very large stage that plays music. Um, Logan, her best friend, has a drum set. She has uh, acoustic guitar as well as um, an electric guitar, I believe. Or is it a banjo? It's a banjo. Rumor has it Tenny is actually based off Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know how Logan would play into that, but like she's got brown eyes and this long blonde hair. Um, she loves country music, and that's kind of where Taylor Swift started. And you look at her outfit and her collection. You've probably, if you've watched Life with Crystal videos, Crystal doesn't have Tenny herself. But Crystal has quite a few of Tenny's outfits because T Crystal's like, this is what Taylor Swift would wear. Like, Tenny's performance outfit. She's like, this is something Taylor Swift would wear. Or, like, I mean, just her outfits scream Taylor. Um... So, rumor has it she was based off of Taylor, just like rumor has it um, Blair is actually based off the pioneer woman with the green hair, or green eyes and brown, blonde, red hair. So, they get their inspiration from different ways, obviously. She's not enough for Taylor to be like, this is a doll that's made after me. Um, so, we're going to move along after Tenny. We have got... Emily, who is right here, she is Molly's best friend from the 1940s. Um, Molly's storyline is Molly's dad is a doctor and he is deployed for World War II. Molly's mom gets a job to help support the family and help with the war effort. And they take in Emily, and I can't remember if Emily is an orphan or if she's just a refugee that gets sent over to the U.S. She's from England. So she's Molly's best friend from England. And it, 
it's her struggles of having to deal with being away from home. Um, she's wearing this really beautiful um, blue floral dress. You really can't see it. And next to her, for last, for the 18-inch dolls, would be Just Like You or Truly Me, number 47. This is a Sonali mold as well. Honestly, all the black girls my, my daughter has are Sonali molds because Melody is a Sonali mold as well. Um, but I honestly do not know what my daughter named her because my daughter changes her name so often. Um, this is the doll that I took with when we went to the Mall of America. And this is the doll that I had hearing aids put on. Um, for those that don't know, when you go to the stores, oh, you can send them into the hospital too. She's got them on both sides. And there's her other hearing aid. And my daughter has glasses on her too. Um, my daughter wanted hearing aids put on her, one of her dolls, and that's the one she picked to have hearing aids put on. That was before Blair came out. But, um, and that's my kids just want diversity amongst their collection. So this doll, um, my daughter will actually say is deaf. And I've heard my daughter call them cochlear implants as well. So whichever day, some days that she calls them hearing aids, some days she calls them cochlears. Um, but, uh, when you go to the store, you can either get their ears pierced, you can get their hair done at the salon, you can get ears pierced, which Gabriella has her ears pierced, Lainey has her ears pierced, Tenny does not, um, Ivy does, but Ivy came that way. We, with, from what I understand, if you have the hearing aids in, you can't get their ears pierced. But I think those are the only dolls that have earrings that we pierced their ears. Ivy came with them. Yeah, I think Gabriella and Lainey are the only two that we actually had pierced. Because Gabriella, Tenny and Gabri, no, Tenny doesn't have her ears pierced. Gabby has her ears pierced. Um, and it looks like my daughter's changed the earrings. But Gabby has her ears pierced. Um, Gabriella and Tenny shared earrings. For a few years, they did it with Leah, they did it with Grace, and then they did it with Gabriella and Tenny. And this is another thing that everybody's like, they kept calling these Gabriella's earrings, but if you look at the earrings, they don't match Gabriella's line. Gabriella's line is this purple color, and then underneath is teal. Is this teal color, and all of her line is pretty much that color scheme. And these earrings are a bird, a rose that is aqua not teal but aqua and then music notes that's tenny um but anyways we got gabriella's ears pierced with the supposed earrings that were supposed to be gabriella's that they later came out and said oh you can do it with tenny too and they're supposed to be tenny's earrings that's besides the point gabriella has her ears pierced um you can get their ears pierced at the stores or you can get the hearing aids put in at the stores or you can get their hair done in the salons um, and then lastly, we've got the three Welly Wishers down here. We've got the little redhead. That's Willa. She's got kind of these greenish hazel brown eyes. And then we've got Ashlyn with the dark hair and brown eyes. She's supposed to be Hispanic, I believe. And then over here we have Camille, who has blue eyes and blonde hair. My son has the other two Welly Wishers, so we do have all five Welly Wishers in the house. But... We do, when it comes to the dolls, we do have all for the um, historical dolls. We have all the historical dolls except for Mary Ellen. I, except for the best friends. So, oh, well, she's kind of a best friend. She's kind of not. Um, the only dolls that we are missing from the historical line uh, will be Courtney when she comes out, Mary Ellen, um, Cecile. We've got Marie Grace, but we don't have a Cecile, and I kicked myself because, once again, that's Sonali mold, and she's a black girl. Gorgeous doll. Um, I'm honestly thinking of pos... <sighs> she's going to end up being one of my kids' dolls. Because I don't want to get any more of the historical dolls myself because I have the five originals and I want to leave it at that. But I love 
love, love, love Cecile. Um, we're missing her Cecile. We're missing Elizabeth, who is Felicity's best friend. We're missing Ruthie, who is Kit's best friend. And we're missing Nellie, who is Samantha's best friend, which all of those will probably end up being my daughters, unless my son looks at some of them, which honestly, I think I'm going to give him if I, I've been kind of eyeing Cecile. If I can get a Cecile for a good price, I think I'm going to get him Cecile because he has Marie Grace. And where I say that that is a best friend, but it's not, the NOLA girls or New Orleans girls are those two. Um, their books intertwine. So like the first book is Marie Grace, Meet Marie Grace. The second book's Meet Cecile. And they're both in all six books where... Um, Emily doesn't really come in until Emily's book and Ivy I don't believe comes in in any of Julie's. I don't remember Emily being in any of Molly's books reading them as a kid. I haven't read Julie's books but I believe like there's a Meet Ivy and there's a Meet Emily book that come as the seventh book in those series. So you've got Molly's books and then you would have a Meet Emily. You have Felicity's books then you've got Meet Elizabeth. You've got Kit's books, meet Ruthie. So that's where it's like she's she's really the only histo well we're missing three historicals, none of the three best friends essentially. So that's what we're missing from them. Um, we are missing well technically I have a Lindsay, but I'm gonna be sending her into the hospital. And she will be coming back as a just like you. Her vinyl turned green, like a greenish gray, and she's got a really bad dry wig. If they were replacing her head. They do not have any more Lindsay heads. I waited too long to send her in. So instead of fixing her, they will just offer me a new doll. So it kind of stinks that I'm losing Lindsay, but... Um, our girl of the year started 2009, so we have the last 11 years worth of dolls. I don't have 2001 through 2008, and I don't know if I'm ever going to get those. Um, it's just kind of like if, if, say for instance, on Marketplace one comes up and it's incredibly like it's a too good to pass up deal maybe, um, or if I'm at a yard sale or my mom somewhere and get some. Um, like at a flea market or whatever, but I, I'm not, I'm not actively looking for any of them, in all honesty, because most of them, once again, are just white girls. Um, there is Marisol, who I believe is biracial, and Jess, who is Latino or Hispanic, I don't remember, but the other ones, like, Lindsay's a white girl, Nikki's a white girl, Maya's a white girl. I'm trying to think of who else there is. I cannot think off the top of my head. It is getting way too late, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this one was pretty long because my daughter does have an extensive collection. So um, I hope to see everyone in the next video. Bye!